guess guess who? Who never, never starts an argument? Hmm? Who never shows a bit of temperament? Who's never wrong but always right? What? Who never dream of starting a fight? Gotcha. Who gets stuck with all the bad luck? No one <laughs> but Donald Duck. Boris and Barbara were thinking about Miffy's birthday. What can we make for her? asked Barbara. Well, said Boris, spring will soon be here and I know that Miffy enjoys seeing the baby birds every year. What if I make her a special birdhouse that she can watch each day? Oh, that's a splendid idea, Boris, said Barbara. It should be painted brightly to attract a mother bird. I will make it an exact copy of Miffy's own house, only very small, just the right size for little birds. I have a picture of Miffy's house to guide me. Boris selected some of his best wooden planks, some pieces that would make the walls, a strong piece of wood for the floor and two sturdy pieces for the roof. First he drew a plan that showed the right sizes of wood and how they would all be fitted and nailed together. Then Boris measured a piece of wood with his special ruler and used a pencil to mark where the plank should be cut. He clamped the wood to his workbench so it would be held steady and then he took out one of his sharp saws. He moved the saw back and forth over the line he had drawn with the pencil. He did this for each piece of wood until every part of the birdhouse was cut to the right size. Next, he used a hammer to fasten all the pieces together. Finally, there was a perfect little house. I will use my drill to make a little hole in the house, just big enough for the mother bird to get in and out. She will collect twigs and grass to make a cosy nest inside. Now it's ready for you to paint it, Barbara, said Boris. Barbara Bear had lots of jars of bright paint and a brush for each colour. Soon the little birdhouse really did look like a tiny model of Miffy's own house, with one small difference. On Miffy's birthday, Boris and Barbara brought the birdhouse to Miffy's house and set it up on a pole in Miffy's garden. Birthday, Miffy, said Boris and Barbara. We have a surprise for you. Come and see. Miffy was delighted with her birdhouse. It looks just like my house, said Miffy. But there's something different. Instead of a door, it has only that little hole in the front. That's a door for birds, said Boris. It's not a bunny door. They all laughed. Oh, how wonderful to have such clever friends, said Miffy. You have made me happy. And your present will also make a mother bird. He did this for each piece of wood until every part of the birdhouse was cut to the right size. Next, he used a hammer to fasten all the pieces together. Finally, there was a perfect little house. I will use my drill to make a little hole in the house, just big enough for the mother bird to get in and out. She will collect twigs and grass to make a cosy nest inside. Now it's ready for you to paint it, Barbara said Boris.
Barbara Bear had lots of jars of bright paint and a brush for each colour. Soon the little birdhouse really did look like a tiny model of Miffy's own house, with one small difference. On Miffy's birthday, Boris and Barbara brought the birdhouse to Miffy's house and set it up on a pole in Miffy's garden. Happy birthday, Miffy, said Boris and Barbara. We have a surprise for you. Come and see. Miffy was delighted with her birdhouse. It looks just like my house, said Miffy. But there's something different. Instead of a door, it has only that little hole in the front. That's a door for birds, said Boris. It's not a bunny door. They all laughed. Oh, how wonderful to have such clever friends, said Miffy. You have made me happy, and your present will also make a mother bird very happy. Now we all have something to be happy about. 